Hello, my name is Randy Dobson. I'm an instructor with the Lone Star College System here in Houston, Texas. And this video is actually going to be covering a specific assignment. I know there's uh, a few of my students out there having issues with it, so I want to go ahead and do a video on it. Um, it should be for this one right here, the speaker, uh, chapter four, uh, problem number six. And there's actually a couple different ways of, of uh, going after this assignment and completing it. Uh, I'm going to kind of talk you through uh, both of them, but uh, most, most students are trying to set up different planes, and the way that I'm going to show you is actually to uh, uh, use the 3D rotate to create the, the object. And let me get everything a little organized here. So this side right here that you see is what I want to draw. Now understand at this point right here in the middle, the only reason the uh, author is giving you this dimension is to set up a three-point arc. So you're going to have your start, the middle, and then the end. But let me just start over here on the side. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do it on this plane right here and I'm going to start it off with a P line PL and I'm going to have ortho on and I'm going to go a distance of 1.5 and then I'm going to let me zoom in here I'm going to come down the distance of 4.5 and then I'm going to go over 2.5 now this is where I'm going to do a little uh, extra construction. I'm going to go up the 2.3 and over 0.26 and then that's where I'm going to end. So what I have done here is these lines are this construction for this side. Now uh, while it's on this plane I'm going to go ahead and construct an arc I'm just going to do a three-point arc, and I'm going to go from this endpoint to this endpoint to this endpoint. So now you can kind of see it starting to take shape. Maybe if I turn it around here a little bit, that might. You can kind of see I'm drawing this side right here. Let me get it back. Okay. So this what I call scaffolding just to help me build this arc I don't need it anymore so I'm just gonna go to the trim command select this arc and pick this line and got rid of that so now I've got an arc and I've got this P line so I'm gonna eventually extrude this so I'm gonna use the join command J O I N and I'm gonna select all of this hit enter now I have one object now, I could have worked on this plane, but what I wanted to do was show you I'm doing it on this flat plane, then I'm going to come up here to 3D Rotate. I'm going to pick the object, and I'm going to pick my base point, let's just say right here at this end. And I'm going to use the red, because I want to rotate it up. And I should rotate that 90 degrees type in 90 and now you see it standing up kind of a better view from the side so now this side is this side right here okay so the next thing whoops excuse me I'm gonna leave that there for a second now I'm going to do this back kind of a half moon so I'm gonna go to line and I'm going to just draw a line, and of course the distance is this 3, because that's the width. I go 3, and now I stop that command. Now I'm going to do an arc, and it's going to be a start, center, end, because I know the start is the, <coughs> excuse me, is the end of this line. The middle of the circle is the middle of this line, and then the end is right here. So I'm going to type in end, and then mid then end. So now I've drawn this back half moon. Again, like this object, I have to make it into one P line, so I'm going to type join, select both objects, 
hit enter now this is one object now here comes the fun part now all I'm going to do is do extrude so I'm going to go to extrude I'm going to pick this object and I'm going to extrude it over this distance here three whoops kind of went the wrong way but that's right I'm going to move it over here and now I'm going to go to extrude and extrude this up the 4.5 Hopefully you see where I'm going with this. <clears throat> now just using the move command, no, no 3D, just move. Type M for move. I pick this object. I snap to the end right here, this corner. Snap to the end there. And then come up here to your join or union. Select both of them. Hit enter. Now I have this one object. Now, what I was mentioning earlier was, you know, I had drew that side down here. I could have easily have come up, and I'm going to get this a little larger here. I could have went to the, let me get the correct one. There we go, the front view, and I could have drawn this P-lined. Let me get it back so I get my dimensions. I could have drawn my p line. 1.5, 4.5, 2.5. Now I'm going to construct for that arc. I'm going to go up 2.30, then over 0.26. Now I can go to my arc and pick this endpoint, this endpoint, then this endpoint. Oops, I'm sorry. I selected the wrong one it should have been the three point I did the wrong one start that over three point here here and here now I'm going to trim off this extra now I'm going to do join select these objects and there I have it now I'm going to go back to world as you can see that's the same thing it actually is the same size, they're just on a different plane. So now I could draw this half moon like I normally did and extrude it out and, and it would all be fine. So let me move this over so it looks at point. So there you can you can kind of see it better right there. So you could either have created it here, and I always use the example of if, if people have watched on TV or seen where they do a, bar, a barn raising where they'll build the walls of the side of a barn and then they prop it up, uh, that's what I was, in reality, that's all I was doing was constructing it down here and then I propped it up by rotating it 90 degrees. I uh, hope that helps you on this assignment. Uh, if you still have questions, uh, please shoot me an email. Thanks a lot.